Hey guys, what's up? It's RB here for iDevice Forever, and in this video, I'm here to show you guys the top 20 hidden features in iOS 9. Right, so let's jump right in. Okay guys, I would like to tell you guys that uh, this is not on any ranking order, this is completely in a random order. It's not from the best to the least favorited, um, it's completely in a random order. So the first one we're going to go ahead to is the Photos app. Right over here, um, when you're here in the Photos app, you can see that you have a completely new scrubber for the uh, Photos app. So you can just move to new, move to new photos by just scrubbing like this. And that's a pretty cool feature. Alright guys, the second feature is also in the Photos app. Right, so this time it's much more easy to delete your items. If you're in iOS 8.3 or below, you had to select each one of them or else just uh, delete all. But this time you can just choose on all of them by just swapping across. As you can see, it's really easy and it's really simple to do. So uh, then you can just go ahead and delete on all of them. It doesn't only work on uh, recently deleted, but it also works on the camera roll as well. So that is a pretty cool feature as well. Alright guys, here's the next one. So when you go ahead to Safari and type in any game or app that is present in the App Store, like right now I just typed in Goat Simulator. Uh, I actually loaded it up earlier because as you can see, uh, this room right now where I'm sitting at isn't having a pretty good internet connection as you can see. So anyhow, so when you search for your app or your game, so you can see that they show it right here, Goat Simulator, which is present in the App Store. It's pretty much similar to Android and so once you go, once you tap on that, they'll take you to the App Store. Open an App Store and you want to click on yes, open, sorry. So, okay, never mind this. So once you're done with that, all you got to do is just click on back safari so the two new features that i just told you guys is that one in safari so when you search for an app it takes you directly to app store and when you're in the app store in case you have been directed by the uh, safari to the app store you can take you can go directly back to safari right here back to safari so there you go you're back to safari that's a pretty neat feature that apple has added all right so guys the fifth feature that i'm going to show you guys is with siri so you want to go ahead open up settings go up to general where you usually find Siri and there you go Siri right here so now Siri will be able to speak in a different accent so you just want to go ahead tap on Siri voice so there you go you have completely new or uh, three new options accents are American Australian and British and uh, gender we had it before as well but here you go you have the three new accents available alright so the next hidden feature is in settings again so you want it's an assistive touch this time so you want to go ahead to general and then accessibility so once you're here uh, go ahead search for um, assistive touch uh, there you go interaction assistive touch right so many of us do have problems with assistive touch because they give us a large menu and at times we do not find them really important so this time uh, with this new uh, extra feature right here customize top level menu we can change uh, the ones uh, that we want uh, that we do not want so right here if I want to change uh, the custom one right here so I can tap on that and they can ask me to change it so I can change it up to uh, maybe volume up okay and tap on done and there you go it has been changed and also right here on the bottom as we can see uh, you can change the number of icons uh, that appear on the top level menu so if I want to uh, decrease it to 4 there you go, it ha is now into 4. So it's a pretty cool feature. Maybe can I increase it to 7? Oh, yeah, you can. So that's a pretty cool feature. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Right, so this next hidden feature is again in the settings app. And uh, this is a really important one. Um, it is called as setting search right here search settings. Okay, so all you gotta do is just uh, tap on that and you can search for any one of them or uh, any one of the stuff right there so you just want to go ahead battery maybe yeah so there you go battery and there you go and battery once again so that's a pretty cool feature and because we have a whole uh, bunch of stuff in settings and it's difficult to search through so it's a pretty cool feature that they've added and now that we have searched for battery uh, this is again a new secret, a secret hidden feature in iOS 9 so there you go this is the low power mode right here so low power mode reduces the um, performance and networking activity and stuff like that so overall it helps you to uh, you know 
save your battery life. Uh, this has been in Android for a pretty long time and now finally it's in Apple. So yeah, pretty long wait thing. And so there you can see that my battery has turned into yellow. So it's a pretty cool feature that they've added and it's pretty useful as well. Right, so this new feature is again in settings. I have already told that a million times already. So you can probably understand that there are uh, many more, uh, you know, stuff that is added to the settings app. So you want to go ahead to general. And you can see this right here. Use side switch too. So that is uh, this uh, this one right here, the button on the side, which we used to usually used to uh, keep our phone on silent. So um, now you can either lock rotation or mute it. So if you choose on lock rotation, so if I just so set it on right there. So there you go. It has now changed into the lock rotation mode. And if I set it back if to mute, and then there you go, it's no longer in lock rotation mode. So that's a pretty cool feature that they've added again. Okay, so yeah, the next fe uh, secret hidden feature is again in the settings app. I'm going to stop saying that. So now you're just going to go ahead to general and accessibility. Go all the way down. And there you go. This is actually not a kind of, you know, new feature to iOS 9. Uh, it's actually It was actually present in iOS 7 or 8 as well, I guess. But most of us, most of us still do not know about it. It's called as the shake to undo, uh, it's shake to undo, uh, shake to undo feature. And uh, uh, it's actually present in iOS 7 and iOS 8. The, but still, most of us don't know about it. And now that uh, iOS 9 has added it to the accessibility uh, uh, page so I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you guys so let me just show you guys how it works so in case you're messaging someone um uh, I mean sorry all right right here let's go right here okay so if we just type some stuff and we feel like it's something lame so you can just shake your phone and there you go uh, undo typing you can just undo it right there so that's a pretty cool feature and most of us as again I'm saying it most of us don't know about it and it's a pretty cool feature it's not only for the photo uh, to the uh, messages app it's also for the uh, uh, photos app so in case you have done any kind of edit that you didn't uh, that you want to undo it so you just gotta shake your phone and they're gonna ask you the same question whether you want to undo it or not so that's a pretty cool okay, feature. The next uh, uh, hidden feature is right here, touch accommodations. So you just want to go ahead and tap on that. It's um, If you have trouble using the touch screen or something, uh, I really don't understand what is this for. It's uh, for people who have difficulties using the touch screen and stuff like that. Anyway, since it's been added, I just thought I'll add it to the video as well. So it's, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. So yeah, there's nothing much to explain, uh, explain anyway. So yeah, there you go. Another feature. Ta -da. Okay, so we're done with the settings. Yeah, finally. So let's go ahead to uh, photos now. All right. So over oh, here you can do pretty cool thing. Um, if you just um, hold on it for some time. Um, yeah, if you just hold on it for some time, they'll probably no. Uh, sorry, it's uh, over here. So um, if you go over here, so you can see that you can hide the photo. That's a pretty cool feature. Usually we have stuff on our uh, for photos app that we do not want it to be right there. So you can just tap on hide, and you should be good to go. So they'll ask you this photo will be hidden for moments, collections, and yours, but still be visible in albums. So you can just hide right there and it'll no longer be seen and stuff like that so that's a pretty cool feature alright so the next secret uh, feature in iOS 9 is that uh, find I, uh, find friends and find iPhone uh, find my iPhone or whatever that is has been installed uh, by default on your phone so uh, yeah you won't be able to de uh, delete and stuff uh, but anyhow they've added it so yeah an extra feature again uh, and another feature is that yeah you you probably might not have noticed that um, I don't have newsstand anymore so yeah they've finally taken it out I'm really happy because I've never used it and I hope that they take uh, health and the Apple watch on my uh, phone okay let them keep the Apple watch but let them take the health out the health app out right uh, but who knows you know maybe the new news app that they're getting into maybe that's the new updated newsstand 
why didn't they tell us that in WWDC? Alright, so for showing you guys uh, this uh, new hidden feature, I've bought in the iPhone 4S as well, which is running iOS 8.3, and you already know my iPhone 5 is running iOS 9. So let's just go ahead to the camera app. Um, and you're here as well. Okay, as you can see, um, SDR is not enabled on my iPhone 5, and it's not enabled on my 4S as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's you, you pretty much don't know whether it's on on my 4S or not because it there's no cross mark. So yeah, that's exactly that's a new feature that has been added that pretty much shows you guys that it's not on because uh, it just shows you guys HDR if it's uh, as you can see is now yellow that means it is on and if you if you just tap on it again that means it's off so it's, you don't understand whether it's on or not it's kind of difficult to understand and in case of uh, flash as well they just show you it's off okay that's fine whereas here there are cross marks for both of them so that's pretty cool so and if you enable it you have it highlighted again so that's a new feature once right. again so this feature of uh, iOS 9 is called as a uh, uh, swipe selection and uh, so all you gotta do is um, just uh, use two fingers and you can swipe across the screen and you can see that I've, uh, you can just see that I'm using it right there so that's all that uh, swipe selection allows you to do and yeah right so this hidden feature of iOS 9 helps you to uh, you know call or message uh, any person uh, but just through the spotlight search so if I were to just message this guy who is nobody so yeah there you go, I'm in the messages app right now. Right, so now in Spotlight Search, you can search uh, by just using your voice, by just speaking, uh, by just tapping on this button, and you'll be able to. Okay, it's already recording, but you already know what to do. Okay, so that's another feature. Right, so this new feature, I really don't know whether it's a bug or whether it's really meant to happen. So, anyway, let's just go ahead, um, click on a song. Okay, let's just go ahead, lock the screen. And uh, see right there, it's completely normal. But when you hit on the home screen, it's completely blank. So I, so I really don't know whether that is a bug or is it a feature. So they could have it because it's completely blank, blank right there. It probably must be a bug. But anyway, since it's there, I just wanted to show you. Right, so the last hidden feature of iOS 9 in my list is that iOS 9 has a new font. Um, as you probably might have noticed by now, so it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, the font has been changed. It's called as the San San Francisco font. Uh, okay, that's it. So that is the last uh, feature, hidden feature on my list. All right, guys. So if you guys want to install iOS 9 Beta 1 on your device, I will leave the uh, download links in the description down below and also once you guys are done installing since many guys since many people have have the issues of uh, the uh, carrier ser service bus not showing up instead it's just uh, written as uh, iPhone so I have the fix for that in my in my videos as well so I'll leave that uh, in the description again so yeah and there's some, uh, there's one more thing that I want to show you guys that this wallpaper is no longer over here. And if you have a close look, um, let me just tap on this and uh, let me just go ahead to the iOS 9 default uh, home uh, home and lock screen or whatever wallpaper that is. So you can see that they're pretty much the same. It's just they've added a few new stuff. Okay, and we got another new feature. So there you go. Still or perspectives. Okay. So yeah, 21 features. You're welcome. Anyhow, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. And uh, so if you did, do give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe for more awesome videos. See you in the next one.